Good morning painters, welcome to the Monday Club, the planetary hub of watercolour expertise here in lovely Marsh. Tony here, I hope you're all well and keen to further the fight for skill and competence. It's fun to do and we have a tangible result to show at the end. Unless it's rubbish and we throw it away. So here we have a Mediterranean coastal scene. It's Ravinji in Croatia. Not strictly Mediterranean actually, it's, uh, it's probably the Adriatic I should say. Um, it's a tourist photo from a magazine. It's okay, it's a uh, lovely colourful deep blue sky bright frontages in various colours, dark blue sea with striking reflections. It's a pleasing composition, they've got perspective and it's got balance. What more could you want? So it shouldn't be too difficult to do. Um, I've, I've drawn it out as before. Let's see. I've got my board tilted left to right so that I've noticed there's been some reflections on the left hand side in the past which makes it difficult to see what I'm doing. Um, I also turned my palette back round again. I didn't like it that way around so I couldn't find any colours. It's not good. Okay start painting. So a bit of water on, clear water, not too much. It's fairly random. And ultramarine for the for the sky. Fairly strong. Plenty of it, so I can do it all in one go. I'll leave um, leave some gaps for all the clouds here and there. And I'll avoid painting over the buildings because they're actually very pale against a strong sky. So, my theory is to do fairly rapid brush strokes and that gives us random gaps where the clouds might be. Not rapid enough there. You see what I'm doing? Happy with that. Now As the sky approaches the horizon, it always gets paler. So it's mostly water here. And let that merge in. And tip it backwards until it dries. Right. 
Okay, it's dried now. So, let's do the rooftops. This is light red. It's quite a dense colour, and I don't like it immediately. I did that much too strong. I'm carrying on with burnt sienna, which is better immediately. So not too much precision here. I'll dab some gaps in it here and there. That was a good idea. Uh, this roof is really quite pale. That's about right. And this one strikingly red for some reason, so I've added a bit of crimson in there, a bit of scarlet rather. This building is dark red. A bit of scarlet, burnt sienna. I'll just go right through because the windows are darker than this. It does have some white window frames, but so what? It's not as red as it should be. So I'm going back over it with a bit of a bit of orange I've got. So I've lost the transparency there, but never mind. This building here is raw sienna. See how this turns out. Again, I'll just paint it right through. It looks about right. There's a shadow comes across from the left, but we can do that later. Okay. So far, so good. Now, the majority of the building frontages are pale grey. Variations on that. So I've just dredged up what I have in the bottom of my palette. Which could be anything, but it's looking okay. So this will be really dark at the end of it. That line across there is the shadow line. 
That's fine for now. I'll carry on. So I'm dabbing it to create some character which these buildings have. This is darker even though it's in bright sun. This is really pale. Few blotches here and there. I'm adding a few random colours here. Not so much green, please. It's in fact, it's got a reddy tinge to it. I'm letting water do the work here. Too neat water. Slight bluey tinge on this building. Now we've got a mm, an orangey building. What shall we? It's a bit fierce. Now the end building is pale yellow. Okay. So now I've got these colours available. I'm going to do the reflection. So. Clean water, relatively clean anyway. So, just a word about reflections. Here's my horizon, so the reflection height will be the same as the height of this building above the horizon, just as if it's a, a big mirror. Always worth bearing in mind that so uh, your reflections don't look a bit weird. So uh, 
bit of a dark reflection here. So that's the source of the reflection. Here's the reflection. Likewise, these buildings. The dark line where the tide stains the, uh, the front here. I'll come back over that. Here we've got um, reflections of colours on the building, which you can't see, but I can see. Wet in wet, only just wet. Just a hint here and there, because there will be waves to put onto these buildings. Now this reflection here is quite dark. I think it's because of this balcony. reinforcing the dampness. Okay. Now these are not shown on my original that I'm copying from but um, so I'm just guessing. The reflections tend to be a tad darker than the originals because they've got other stray light affecting them. Okay, so it looks a bit weird. This is where you need a bit of faith. So the sea is very dark, the dark blue. The horizon has got to be horizontal, it's got to be straight. I insist. So it comes towards us, changes colour slightly. There are ripples. 
don't want to overdo that and it hits this skyline here which is still wet mercifully there are no waves so I'm still leaving gaps to show white because it's water Use a tiny bit of water if it's dried up. So I'm still working on the reflections because they're really quite dark some of these I need more water I'm stroking through all these reflections. I'm coming through with a dry brush to take some paint out. These are dead horizontal, these lines. of uh, red for the roof reflection which isn't really tangible on the, on the photograph but looks okay to me here I'm not done with the sea, I will come back with some darker lines. Now, I've only got um, seven or eight minutes left, so I'm going to crack on now. And shortly we'll be adding some, uh, some detail to all these frontages. This building is. I should have found out, shouldn't I? So I could, I could have told you. Put dark shadow down one side. So this is just a cheap number eight brush, and I like to flatten it, you see how it's broad there, flat there. Edge on, does a great job for detail like this.
Okay. Some trees in the background. But the hook is green. Ideal for this. details. Oh, the shadow, I forgot them. Smaller brush, gone quiet and I'm still here I'll try to do these in 30 minutes because I know I've got a 30 minute allowance on this phone it will stretch to 33 but I don't really want to risk that so what have we here this yellow a balcony here there's a dark shadow underneath it. Okay, I'm going to carry on. Working like this, I'll turn you off. When you come back on, a lot of this detail will be done. Hold on now. Whoa, I hear you say, what's gone? What's it doing? You haven't finished. I mean to tell us. Well, all I've done is added bits of detail. This is a green tide mark. with a pretty black base to it so oh good stuff so that's um, just looking okay But some uh, just a suggestion of um, unevenness in the water. Looks a bit trite, I know, but I don't want to overdo it because of that.
Okay, this is uh, really dark here. It's quite dark. I'll come back in a second. I'm still here, beavering away. Some red on my brush. What's that for? Just a few little bits of activity going on. So I'm just suggesting that here and there. A few really dark shadows. And I think I'm nearly done. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have a go. It's not too difficult. I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll do well. So I'll, I'm going to carry on whilst uh, rambling away. Little cheeky chappy up there, I don't know who he is. So, oh yeah, there's these windows. Have a go anyway, I'm sure you'll do well at this, so I'll be signing off shortly. Voluntarily, the uh, machine will do it for me. So, just random stuff, just to add a bit of character, a bit of spatter. Always good here and there. A bit of dry brush mayhem. these buildings well lived in so it's all good stuff thirty two minutes right finished time to go bye now see you next week take care